have do. to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. David? Is it really? I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. I suppose he's the one with, you know, all the weaponry and all that, I so. I still love photography when this is done. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Right. Uh, so what's this about? Blackwell Academy 1910. For over a hundred years, Blackwell Academy has an academic oasis for art and science, with diverse students from around the world seeking to change the world and their communities. Uh, we already know enough about the game to actually ignore reading that, really. I don't think it's going to tell us anything we don't already know, so I might skip through things because obviously we've gone back now, haven't we? So we got a number for David Madsen. So uh, I'm guessing it would be a good idea to call him and warn him now. Wouldn't it be... For I... once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. Call? That's not a call. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. It's the past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Most probably. What do we do then? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Oh, God. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. I guess that would be even more emotional for the people who didn't actually save Kate. You know, the fact that she's back. The fact that she's okay. <laughs> she actually smiled a bit. That's what the um, the little drawing that Kate did of herself. Um, that was one of the photo things. So you know. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Absolutely. Okay. What else have we got? Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Can't go far enough back to save Rachel. She was gone before Max ever came here, wasn't she? Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my pose. What's that? Why did I give up the, w the word for the image? Because I suck, but Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him, but he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. I love the little drawing that she's done in the bottom right there. Oh, poor Victoria. I hope there's a way that, you know, she can... It's a shame that we're not continuing with what happened. With Victoria experiencing all that she did, but also I'm kind of glad that she doesn't have to go through that, if you understand what I I'm mean. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Uh, this is before we got to know Chloe as well. Jesus Christ, so much has changed. Uh, what else are we doing? 
We can talk to Victoria, we can talk to... Oh, we can't. We can just look at them by the looks of it. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Let's see. Okay, so we got the camera with the roll of duct tape, is that? A car on a roof? A whale on fire? Someone sitting, uh, someone standing in front of a load of photos. What's going on? Things aren't going to go right, are they? They're still not going to go right after all There's this. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. What's going on? I mean, it's been a long time since I've questioned Max's powers, you know. I'd like to bust this up right now. Oh, it's the same camera, isn't it? Oh, it's horrifying to think that, you know... An everyday hero is going to bust your ass, Jefferson. Alright, Max, calm it down on the aggression. Jesus Christ. Just a week ago, I was so naive about art, life, the world. I can't blame the cameras, but I just think of Jefferson using them. Now I wonder how many victims Jefferson has left behind in his career. Yeah, like... Is he actually a serial killer? Not impressed anymore. Uh. If only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. But I better let David take care of everything. Yeah, he he's armed, he's dangerous. The 90s are over for you, asshole. Not David, Mark is. Uh, right, okay, I think that's it. I think that's everything around the classroom we can possibly look at. Looking outside and looking at the door, we got all that stuff that means that we're kind of stuck in this one area here. So, um... Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people, is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. Hmm. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me and Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... And thanks for the photo, and... Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Hmm. His lack of questioning, his lack of aggression, is quite surprising. Okay, not much has changed here. Huh? Oh, they... Wow. 
Wow. Oh, Jesus, this is... This has all gone really well, all of a sudden, you know, like... I'm surprised they would be back in school that quickly. And Chloe is at Max's. Chloe, Max is getting into a taxi. What, what's going on there? Whoa! She's on the flight. Okay. She's it's the one okay. going to San Francisco. You're safe. Right. I want a plane. Oh, and there's the hot dog again. What? She's with I Principal hope I did Wells. Right this time. Local teacher arrested. Holy shit, you rule, Max. Holy. I'm proud of my superstar. This is the start of your Holy career. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, Apparently sir. not. The game isn't over just yet. to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Excuse me, sir. Does your phone have to be shut off before the phone? What? Oh god, I thought that was Mark then. These are FCC rules. There's anyone with glasses on you has short hair, you know. Please the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Two Moon Diner. Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal fo uh, snowfall and beach whales. Some residents reported seeing two moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe th that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco havoc. Okay. Blackwell Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there was no signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his own role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Continued on the next page. Wouldn't we want to read it? Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Okay, he's some sort of superhero. We play the video game and watch him all the time. Right. When we were innocent. Okay then. So that's what he is. We finally find out in the final episode. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. And across six letters. How did Max win though? How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm <laughs> hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. Yeah, After all the guy. damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. How did you I'm see? I'm not surprised. 
Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> it's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. I still don't feel like I can relax. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Oh, shit. What's going on? I realized that Max was actually stuck in the airplane, you know. Okay, this feels so much better already. Hopefully time's not just going to keep on flying forward, hopefully it'll just stabilize. Hopefully we'll be stuck with this reality, you know. I don't know though, maybe something's wrong. Maybe something's... You know, what San about Arcadia Bay? so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. Even if it <laughs> skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell. I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. <laughs> Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. I better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Yeah, that's true. I feel like I can probably relax now at least. Bloody hell. It's wow, nice to, um... Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. I thought she was going to say the title. <laughs> I think that was what they were going for, really. Um... I can't go in the restroom. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm finally relaxed. It looks like we're actually stuck in this area. So, yeah, um, I, I know this is a little bit late. Like, we're about 50 minutes oh, into sorry. recording now. A Danny Lee article. But, yeah, um, I recorded this a little bit sooner than I hoped to. The reason being is um, the gap in between this part and the previous part... Um, basically, um, I recorded more Code Veronica for that, and it only ended up fitting into two parts, and I really had to spread it out to do that, because uh, it was a huge session, and it just wouldn't go in. So, I haven't quite uploaded the last part of Episode 4 just yet, um, but I should be tomorrow. So, at least when I get back... I need to drop some serious cash in there. ...into, um this after taking you know a break and recording again tomorrow maybe by then i've got all your feedback and everything but there didn't seem to be much that really jumped out I that i need to mention to live. the revolution will not be televised yeah some of the stuff that you guys touched on in the comments basically it, it won't be too much of an issue because i'll be able to um i love how much cool art is going on all over the bay area unlike arcadia bay some mysteries 
should stay that I'll way. I'll be replaying this game once I finish, which I've already established, and basically exploring other options. That's mostly what you guys have touched on in the comments, so yeah. Oh, how fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. What's this? Uh, present kinetic clip show and lecture showing how industrial apocalyptic paranoia led to the birth of a world of world dystopian cinema from Metropolis to Planet of the Apes to Blade Runner to the Hunger Games. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. 666 at the door. <laughs> Brilliant. Holy shit. This flyer was designed just for Chloe. Hello's Eve party. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. Uh, okay, yeah, of course, we're coming up to um, Halloween, aren't we? Are we? I'm guessing so. I can't remember the exact date of Halloween, but I think it is... Um, is it the 31st, the last day? I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I heard Mark Jefferson was not my style, but the neon is a nice so representation. I have one of his oh, shit. Hold on to it. Pretentious his alert. Work is gonna be worth serious cash. I'm pretty sure those two voice actors over there have actually voiced by the people who do Mark Jefferson and Chloe, and they're not doing a very good job of actually doing different voices, but from what I know, like, the number of voices that the people doing this is so much that I'm guessing they've stopped running out of ideas anyway, so yeah, I don't really blame them. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Uh, yeah. I mean, San Francisco. Oh, is that what Frisco is? Okay, I didn't realize. Um, yeah, I, it did creep me out, though, hearing that voice after, obviously, all the ordeal with Mark Jefferson. Like, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. All right. I didn't hear a word of that. I was completely ignoring you. Right, um... So what else can we do? We can look at the receptionist, can't we? I never we? thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. You didn't really have a conversation, to be honest, but whatever. Um, official winners of the Everyday Heroes contest. There I am, along with all the other winners. Max Caulfield, yeah. I should say artists instead. Anything dodgy here? This could be like a developer's list or a special thanks or anything like that, you never know. They like to, you know, developers like to use names of uh, people who, you know, helped it's develop the game, so... all these comments. Even the mean ones. I can't understand the handwriting. So inspiring, Jay, um, Dietz. I'm not going to try and pronounce all these names, actually, but they are pretty easy to pronounce, uh, looking at them. Not as good as last year's show. Totally makes me want to start taking photos. The future of photography starts here. These heroes chose, uh, choose the path of least regret. A great example of total surveillance. Their 15 minutes are almost up. <laughs> Thanks. This is so nice. Inspiring stuff. Right. Okay. Uh, we can go down here. There's got to be something bizarre or amiss about this place. There really has to be. I'm kind of wondering. Um, like, I'm assuming one of the photos here is going to be something to do with one of these. Not sure which, though. Um, we've got the camera with the... That looks like Jefferson's camera. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. No, no, no. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. You're Mark Jefferson. for your piece. In very clever disguise. It's clear to me that is the case. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go down here first, and, um... Oh, I'm guessing this is the photo of this woman... Just gonna nick a camera like that? <laughs> I would totally do that, but I'd be worried that um, someone might, you know, like think that I'm nicking their photo, their Are camera. You from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Oh, hello, Case and Alyssa. Oh, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Right, um... So there's nothing else down here apart from the photo. What's this all about? I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. I have no idea. That one is kind of silly. It reminds me of the, um... Is it the, the, the something of funny walks? I've I would love to have this on a shelf. With, uh... I've got his name. My god. Is it John something? I don't know. My brain's gone dead, apparently. Look at this print. <laughs> the depth of field. The He's colors. everywhere. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think you knew about all this. When I was younger, I did a lot of photography studies. Didn't I tell you about it, Emma? I was quite good at it, actually. But I decided to drop photography to do a real paying job. Anyway, it is interesting to be here, and you're lucky to be with me here. I can share all this Rude. with you. Uh, Dad? The label says that this is a print from a disposable camera. What are you talking about? Uh, yes, of course. I was meaning a like a disposable camera. Yes, yes, uh, and don't contradict me anyway. <laughs> Whatever. I can't help but hearing the other voice actors. Right, um... So let's have a look in this area and then we'll, uh, we'll keep moving across as Principal Wells is there. Look. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. My Y button's a little bit broken. I dropped my controller last week and, um, yeah, it's not working so well anymore. So if I bash it a few times, you know why. Haha, <laughs> get it? So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I'm lucky or it's surreal? I don't know. I'm lucky. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Oh, come on. There's absolutely no point in, you know, thinking about this now. I think, uh, not your fault. It's like, not your fault. You didn't know what really happened. Exactly. I you know, really didn't. That's not a good excuse for a principal. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. Absolutely. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Strange weather, maybe it's karma. Hmm. I'll mention the strange weather. Now if we can just figure out what's going on with the weather, maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this <laughs> Ray night. Wells? Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. <laughs> sure likes his buffet. Right. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah. Uh, in regards to being a photographer. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. I used to be a photographer. I mentioned this right at the beginning of Let's Play, right? I used to be a photographer, and sometimes people would come to me and, you know, with their own... Is that, uh... Oh, is that what Max just said about him being young? I get it. Um... Yeah, it's a younger picture of Jefferson, isn't it? Um... I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. Some people would come to me 
I, I didn't consider myself to be that good of a photographer, but some people would come to me and say, my God, you know, you're so much better than me. I can't even be considered a photographer, you know? I'm like, well, pretty much anyone with a camera can be considered a photographer because photography is, being a photographer is basically, you know, paying homage to the art of doing photography, so. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, uh, very smart. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but, um... I feel like it's something that you can define over time, photography. You, you can... It's something you can develop. It's something you have to... I do not understand art. It's something that, it doesn't matter what kind of equipment you have at the end of the day. You know, you can have anything from a disposable camera, as someone said down there, to, you know, like the highest tech camera physically possible. And you can still be a photographer. You can, it, it's all about what you can see through the lens and how you capture it. How creative you can be with that. I would get I would get blasted away by so many people for my style of photography. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? I'm not kidding, like, because I would always take angled shots. I would never take flat, straight shots, if you get what I mean. I would always take things like, I would twist the camera and take my shots like that. And that's one reason I've received a lot of criticism. I once had a teacher told me I was doing it wrong, you know, not taking straight shots. And I was like, I never listened to her for that reason because it was my style. I like doing that because it made things more interesting. Especially when you can like print them all off and montage them on your wall and put them at different angles and stuff like that, you know. I, I thought it was clever. I liked it. I liked God, it a lot. But I, I stopped many art. years ago, so. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. Uh, how? I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. I'm behind Don't you. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. All right. <laughs> You, I you have if a sixth sense. These everyday heroes pictures. Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Uh, thanks, man. Dude. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Oh, that's my picture. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Bad exposure. Damn, that film costs bad a framing. Bad picture. I could have done this so much better. Here on the plaque, so once Max himself. Caulfield, everyday hero. Uh, usually these kind of contests, they, uh, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. Hmm. It does look really nice. I can, I've got I a sitting spot here by the looks of it. Whenever I come here. Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say... Congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. I'm surprised so many people know who I am just from the back of my head, you know, but whatever. I guess everybody I think we, um, did we miss someone down here? I think we did, but uh, this well, guy? Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero Ugh. show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Um, it's just two girls kissing. It's no big deal. I'm really grossed out by people kissing. I think I mentioned this before. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> Hiccup. What do you have to say, if I can get around you? I thought you were Victoria when oh, I saw you from a distance. I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. Oh, thank you. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Uh, right, what else have we got? We talked to this journalist. Hi, excuse ah. me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art I section, hate people and who I totally get your like work. That. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Yeah, he creeps me out a bit. Right, let's um, let's take a seat here, and then we will head over and check out, you know, Max's photo. I don't think 
it's going to end this area, but I still. I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. How can I process this after all the death I've seen this week? I wish Chloe was here with me now. Without her, I couldn't have fought Jefferson. And she always pushed me to not be shy about my photos. Even if that feels so trivial after what happened with Rachel and Kate. But for whatever reason, I have this power. I hope I finally used it right. I believe so. At least I hope so, anyway. Right, okay, so finally, let's check out this photo. Sorry if I've been a bit quiet, like, I'm just... I'm still kind of feeling the bloody, you know, like, aftershocks from the... how creepy before was, but, you know, it's time to get over it a bit, I guess. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. <laughs> I wouldn't stare at it for too long. Max, you're a real artist. At least, for today. Uh-oh. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, uh, your nose. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Six missed calls from Come on. Please answer. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, I'm Chloe, stuck. can you hear me? Hello? Oh, shit. Hello? Oh, my God. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. Oh, dear God. What now, there then? There has to be a way to stop this. For good. I knew something would happen like this, like, uh, we're gonna have to go look at the photo upstairs, aren't we? And that's how we're gonna get back, more than likely. I, I do not understand. Uh, yeah, we haven't got the option to talk to anyone at all, so... I'm assuming that's what we gotta do. No fucking way! Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Right, here goes nothing, I guess, but how far back is this? I can't Excuse remember. Me. I'd oh. love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... There we go. This is gonna end up killing Max at this rate. What is going race. on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. It probably is. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Destroy the photo. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. <laughs> <laughs> 